Business editor Richard Southern joins us now on this beautiful Thursday. I almost said Wednesday. <laughs> hey, we'll Richard, call it, how's it uh, going? Friday uh, Junior. Friday I think. Junior, Friday Eve. <laughs> okay, well, we just heard today that one of Canada's most valuable companies isn't in any rush to bring its employees back to the office, and I have to wonder if this is the beginning of the end of the office. Are we witnessing, Janella, the death of the traditional office? It kind of looks like it. We heard from Shopify, Canada's biggest technology company today, and they said most of our workers are never coming back to the office. They're going to work from home forever. Wow. That's from Shopify. We've heard from Twitter in the past week or two. It said the same thing. Employees who want to stay at home forever can do it. Facebook said today that half of its employees may work remotely forever. So this could be a huge shift. It seems, though, Janella, we're settling in nicely to working at home. I want to show you this big survey uh, today that came out. It found 80 percent of workers working at home pretty much wear PJs the whole time. <laughs> No surprise there. <laughs> I no, no, not at all. Sixty-six percent don't remember the last time they wore real pants. You don't need oh, them for Zoom calls. <laughs> don't need them at all. Sixty percent admit to taking a nap at home on the clock. Fifty-nine percent have worked from bed. Forty-four percent, Janella, still late, <laughs> even though they don't have to leave the house. Guilty as charged. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. It's crazy. We're like perpetually late. It's, it's nuts. But it seems like we're really liking it. 70 percent say they're more productive. We'll see what happens. Could really throw the commercial real estate market for a loop if a lot of companies keep everyone at home. Yeah. What about you? Do you think you'd want to stay home? For me, I, I, I'm, I'm too much of an extrovert. I'm too social. I like to see and interact with people. I like it. But yeah, it might be getting a little bit long in the tooth. I'll we'll have to see, Jenna. Yeah, okay. All right. It's a problem that many parents are facing right now, working from home. And now they'll have to, as we start to reopen, they'll have to figure out what to do with the kids when it's time to head back to work because a lot of child care places have closed and schools are still uh, closed at least until September in Ontario. That's right. So what do you do with the kids? Uh, what is your employer required or not required to do if you have nowhere else to put your children when you got to go back to work? We asked Howard Levitt, a big employment lawyer. They have to let you stay at home if there's no other means of taking care of your kids, unless they're prepared to let you work from home. But they may say, look, it's too distracting. And if it's too distracting to be looking after kids and working at the same time, the employer's right to say, I'm sorry, this isn't working for us. But they have to give you an unpaid leave of absence. But what they can do is they can find daycare for you if they can find daycare. It's pretty tough these days. Or have daycare at their facilities and their offices. Interesting. So it's something to keep in mind, Janella, if you're an employee in that situation, you do have some uh, some rights to keep in mind. Well, I mean, I know even with the CRB, the, CERB, the, the be benefit, one of the provisions is you can apply for that benefit if you're unable to work because you can't get child care for your kids while schools are closed. So it's even there's even a provision there under, uh, you know, EI. Uh, uh, it's it's EI. just one of these other things now everyone's got to think about. If you got kids, it's tough going. So uh, keep that in mind. You do have some rights, Janella. Okay, good to know. All right, switching gears, Burger King has come up with an interesting way to help enforce physical distancing measures. I don't know how well this is going to sell. <laughs> They're selling the social distancing Whopper. It's a regular Whopper, Janella, with three times the onions. So presumably, <laughs> your, your breath is so bad, no one will want to come within six feet of you. <laughs> I'm down with onions. This is not good. It wouldn't perturb me at all. I'm down with that. I didn't realize uh, that that's... Janella, that might be a good exercise in, um, in, in marketing, right? It's tough for, for these companies to, to put out ads right now, but that one might just work, don't you think? <laughs> That's a good one. I didn't realize that that was what they were putting on the burger. I just saw it, bad breath burger. <laughs> load up the onions. Janella, you and I are back just after 630. We're looking at a, a Toronto grocery store that has a new way of sanitizing products just after 630. All right, Richard, we'll talk to you then. Thanks.